Good morning. This is English 8 for Monday, May the 4th. I'm so glad you're here and it's Monday and we're almost done, guys. Just a couple of weeks and we're all finished. Please, please, please give it your all. I know you're tired of online classes. I don't like recording. I like to look at your eyes and see that you understand me. But we all have to give this our best. We want you to finish strong, okay? All right, we are on page 235. We are getting ready for a unit test. You just took for me a chapter test. Now it's a unit test. We have one more chapter to cover this week. Then we have our final. Let's look at exercise A on page 235. We're talking about manuscript. This is from chapter one, from way back at the beginning of the year. Look at this, 42nd Street. Is A correct? B correct or neither one? The answer is neither one. Okay, 42nd in column A is wrong because it does not need to capitalize the word second. B is wrong because you do have to write it out. Number two, the Honorable Jessica Franz, which one is correct? A, B, or neither? It is letter B. You have to write the word honorable out if it's preceded by the word the. So if the comes right before it, you have to write it out. Number three, NATO. Is A, B, or neither one correct? It is A. NATO is written in all caps with no periods because it is a word that's easily recognized. Unit 19, is it A, B, or neither? It is A. You have the word unit or the word chapter, okay? Then you give the number, the, the number of it's written in digits. Number uh, five, 2017 AD, or is it AD 2017? Or is neither one of those right? It is B. Remember, AD comes before the year you're writing, but BC comes after it. And what does AD mean? Amnio Domini, and BC means before Christ. Number six, 12 evangelist. A, B, or neither? It is A. You have to write the word 12 out because you, you can't use digits until it's more than two words. Number seven, L.J. Crabb Jr. Which one is correct? A, B, or neither? It is A. A is correct. You need periods after his initials, a comma between his last name and junior, and the word junior is abbreviated. Look at exercise B. We're talking about capitalization. Mark out the small letter and write the capital above it as we go through these. Think with me. I'm not taking the test with you, okay? It's a long test. You need to be prepared for it. Number one. Stephen flew out of Los Angeles International Airport, or LAX, June, on June 1st, 2015. What do we want to capitalize? Stephen, because it's the first word of the sentence. Los Angeles, both, both L and the A, because that is the name of the city. Capitalize the I in international, the A in airport, because Los Angeles International Airport, that's the name of the airport, Capitalize L-A-X. That is the abbreviation for the airport. Also, you have to put parentheses around L-A-X. Capitalize J in June, because it is a month. Put a comma after the one to separate the day and the year, and to put a period at the end of your sentence. Number two, the city of Los Angeles is located over one of the largest oil fields in the world. Okay, capitalize the T and the, it's the first word of our sentence. Capitalize both the L and the A in Los Angeles because that is the name of the city. And put a period at the end of the sentence. Number three, almost a foot of rain fell in Los Angeles on, in only 24 hours in 1978. That'd be a lot of rain. Okay, capitalize the A in almost, because it begins our sentence. Again, capitalize Los Angeles. 
Then we're going to hyphenate the 24 and put a period at the end of the sentence. Number four, are you planning to visit the gift shop at the LA coroner's office? Okay, uh, we're going to put and capitalize the A and R, capitalize L and A and put a period after LA because it's an abbreviation. Capitalize the C and put an apostrophe between the R and the S. Capitalize the O in office and put a question mark. Number five, did you know that the city of Beverly Hills, uh, home to some of America's most luxurious homes, was once a lima bean ranch, okay? Capitalize the D in did. Capitalize the B and the H in Beverly Hills, because that's the name of the city. Put a comma after Hills. And then put an apostrophe in Americas. A-M-E-R-I-C-A apostrophe S. Most luxurious homes, comma. Once a lima bean ranch, question mark. Look at number six. California became a, a United States territory after the American-Mexican War of 1847. Capitalize United States, because it's the name of our country. Capitalize American, capitalize Mexican, capitalize war, because that is the name of the war. Put a period at the end of the sentence. Number seven, the tallest building in the City of Angels is the U.S. Bank Tower. It is the 11th tallest building in the United States, okay? We want to capitalize city, capitalize angels. City of Angels is the name, so capitalize city and angels. Capitalize U.S. Bank. Make sure you put a period after U and S because that is it stands for United States, but it is abbreviated. Capitalize the T in tower. There needs to be a semicolon after tower because we have two independent sentences that we are joining together. Okay, and in the last sentence, we're gonna capitalize United, capitalize States, and put a period. Look at exercise C. We're looking for our subjects and our verbs. Of course, we're gonna mark our what first? Our prepositional phrases because the subject and the verb are never found inside a prepositional phrase. Number one, God created the kidneys to do a marvelous work in the body. Prepositional phrases. To do a marvelous work, no. <laughs> Mrs. Turner read that wrong, sorry about that. In the body, we'll come back to the other one in a minute. What's your verb? Created. What's your, who or what created? God. Look at number two. Your kidneys are performing as the basic filtration system for your blood. Prepositional phrase is for your blood. What is the verb? Are performing. Who or what are performing? Kidneys. Number three, a baby's kidney weighs less than an ounce, but an adult's kidney weighs about five ounces. Okay, what is the uh, prepositional phrases, about five ounces, okay? The verb, weighs, and it's in the sentence twice, so underline it both times. Who or what weighs first? Kidney, and the second one, who or what weighs? Also kidney. We have two subjects and two verbs because we have two independent clauses joined together by what? by the comma and the word but, which is a conjunction. Look at number four. The kidneys completely filter all the blood in the body about every 30 minutes, okay? So we want our prepositional phrases are in the body about every 30 minutes. So the kidneys completely filter all the blood. What's the verb? Filter, who or what filter? Kidneys. Look at number five. Dr. Joseph E. Smith of Boston, Massachusetts performed the first successful kidney transplant in 1954. What's your prepositional phrase? Of Boston, Massachusetts, okay, in 1954. What's the verb? What's the action? Preformed. 
who or what preformed? Dr. Joseph E. Smith, that is our subject. Number six, how wonderfully created we are. There are no prepositional phrases. What's the verb? Be careful on this one. Are created. It's an inverted verb. Are created. Who or what are created? We. We are created. Turn the page for me, please. Look at page 236. I'm going to uh, have you, we're going to stop the video in just a minute. And I want you to do exercise D, exercise E, and exercise G. Um, on, on number G, I only want you to do one and two. I'm going to do part two with you. I'm going to go over those. But I want you to stop and do this page, then turn on the second video. Okay?